Hello and welcome to this episode of Simply Saturday. Thanks for joining me. For today's card, which will be a fast and easy card, I'm going to be using the set called Playing in the Rain. We're going to use this cute little turtle and these flowers and this is actually going to go together quite quickly. My card base is five and a half by eight and a half scored and folded down the middle at four and a quarter and today's card is going to open this way now this color is blueberry bushel now you might recognize that because blueberry bushel was an in color a couple of years back and as of the new catalog may of 2024 blueberry bushel has been reintroduced and is now one of our core colors i'm so excited that it is back Another color that is back is Lemon Lime Twist. So I'm using a piece of four inch by five and a quarter Lemon Lime Twist as a panel on the front of my card. So it's so fun to have these colors back in our collections. Lemon Lime Twist is a beautiful bright green, a little bit more yellow than like our Parakeet Party and Granny Apple Green certainly has a place for this shade of bright green. All right, let me see if I can line that up a little bit better. Okay, that's our panel. Then we're gonna be doing our stamping on our basic white cardstock. This piece is three and three quarter inches by five. So before I do my stamping, I'm gonna take Pool Party ink, and I'm going to take one of our um, blending brushes I'm going to grab a scrap paper as well just to lay near my stamping area. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is pick up some of my pool party and what I'm trying to do is just create a little bit of like a shadow or an area of color. This is where my turtle is going to get stamped. And so I do want it to be very pale, just kind of a halo of color. Okay, let's put a little bit more there. Just kind of smearing around. I'm using a circular motion just for a little hint of color. I think it needs a teeny bit more. Let me kind of go back into this area right here. Okay, then the next thing I'm gonna do is switch to soft sea foam and I'll go ahead and change out my blending brush so I don't have to clean that one just to save some time so now I'm picking up soft sea foam ink and this little area of color is going to go down here very very subtle all right so you can see I've got my little green and my little bit of blue. It looks so different. I'm looking at through the camera. It looks so different. Looks like there's a little um, white area there, but it is picking up the light kind of funny. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside, bring in our black ink and this cute little turtle. All right, and then I'm gonna put the turtle here, kind of in that bluish area that we created and the flowers down here in kind of the green area that we created look how fast that is all right let's also use the words oh happy day out of this stamp set and i'm going to just stamp that in black let's just keep it super simple I am gonna stamp this on my scratch paper just to get an idea um, if I've got it straight or not. See, see how it's crooked? So I'm glad I tried it. Um, I don't think it's mounted very straight. So I'm gonna pull this off, lay it down and see if I can get it mounted a bit straighter and then we'll try it again. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit better. I, I probably have the sticker on a little bit crooked. Watch, we'll do it one more time. I'm gonna put it where I think it needs to go and then tip it a little bit to the right. 
and that's straight. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do on the card. So I'm gonna make it look right where I want it to go, a tiny little tip to the right. And there's our words, all right? Sometimes you have to fiddle with it a little bit, right? Okay, let's color in our images. I'm gonna grab my Stampin' Blends. You can see that that little hint of color is there, but it still needs something. So I think for these daisies, which they are daisies, but I'm gonna go a different direction. I'm gonna color them in Poppy Parade. I'm gonna make red flowers. I want them to pop and also have this color be dark enough to just color over where I do have all that gray uh, green shading behind it. So these are gonna be my little California poppies that are kind of red. I could have done orange. All right. Um, let's see, I'm using light poppy parade. I might come in with a little bit dark because this is kind of looking, well, Poppy Parade is a pinkish red, but let's make it a little bit darker. Um, with this, with my dark. Oh, that cap was stiff. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little, there we go. Okay, what color should we do the centers of these flowers? Um, I'm thinking, uh, let's do them yellow. And so I need a bright yellow. Let's use Daffodil Delight in dark and just put those centers in there. Okay, now we need a bright green. So I'm gonna go with Parakeet Party dark and get those leaves colored oh yeah also the stems okay there we go all right on to our turtle i think i'll stick with parakeet party dark for these spots This cute little turtle um, and his little friends were also on some designer paper um, previously, but oh, that paper has now at this time been retired. So we can't get that anymore. All right, this is Parakeet Party in the light. So for now, I'm gonna do this all around the spots and then I'm going to come in and I need a little bit more um, I need some more accent it's it's too much the same color so let's grab a dark green I'm gonna take my uh, my shaded spruce and bring that in just a little bit oh shaded spruce is let's see if my other end is a little bit better otherwise I'll grab my light this is one that's on my list to be replaced I'm actually waiting for my order to arrive um, two more days there we go that's what I wanted all right now we've got a little bit more light and dark going on so it doesn't all look one color. Okay, but I'm gonna take my Parakeet Party light and blend that a little bit. Isn't that lovely? How even the different colors will blend when you're using your Stampin' Blends. All right. All right, that's how I want the shell to look. Then let's take a um, let's take a yellow. I'm going to go with Daffodil Delight in light and let's do the shell in this color or his underside, the underside of the shell. And then we'll add a little bit of accent if we need to on this. Okay. And a little parakeet party here. OK, 
Okay, it's really fun using these markers today. Oh, my cabbie is outside the closed door and she has now discovered that I'm in here and didn't let her in. Okay, I'm kind of liking how that looks, so I am going to, um, let's see, I'm going to use the Parakeet Party Dark for the rest of our little turtle friend here. I was going to say his paws. I don't think turtles have paws. All right, and I wasn't imagining his head colored in, but now we are going forward. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're creating with me today. Okay, we're going to take a chance here and color in much like the shell. I just kind of want this to be lighter. I don't want his face super green. Is that funny? Okay, see I blended that green and yellow a lot to kind of get uh, glello. Let's call it glello. <laughs> okay, we need to color the flower that our little friend is holding. And we are just about wrapping this up. Oh, that's my one that's really hurting a little bit. All right. Let's see. This is my dark poppy parade. Come on, hang in there for a little bit longer. There we go. Okay, we have got a, I think I'll do a, make the stem a little bit darker. There we go. And I think we did yellow centers, right? Let's do that. All right, so basically this was like a coloring book exercise. We just did our stamping in plain black ink, did our little bit of coloring, but with that little hint of shadowing the color behind there. And now we're gonna go ahead and attach this to our card front. A card like this could be for any occasion. Of course, Oh Happy Day would work, but this could be a birth, you could make it say happy birthday or thank you. And then look, we've got it on our blue and green background. Like so. I do think that this needs just a couple of embellishments. So I'm going to grab some rhinestones. So stick with me for one second while I reach for them. They weren't in the original plan, but now I think it needs them. So let's see here. Of course I could find colored rhinestones, iridescent rhinestones. Whoops, can't hear me. I could find colored rhinestones and iridescent rhinestones and I couldn't find just the plain ones, but here they are. Okay, and let's get the take your pick tool. And I'm just gonna put them up here by the words because we didn't really decorate anything here. So I'm gonna put three rhinestones up here towards the top. And I've got a little smudge of something here that I don't like. So let me grab my sand eraser. You've seen me use this before. There's a link for this below the video. Um, every now and then, if you just have a little smudge, it can be just the thing to get rid of it. It won't get rid of big ink smudges, but something that's really light, that might have not even have been ink and that took care of it totally. And there is our card. Now, of course, you may want to put a white panel on the inside. I won't take the couple of moments to do that for you on camera, but there you have a very simple card, totally suitable for Simply Saturday with our cute little turtle and oh, happy day. Again, that stamp set is called Playing in the Rain. Thanks so much for watching today. If you enjoyed today's video, do leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And until next time, happy stamping.